Hello everyone, Praise Skoda here, and welcome to another side series. What is this side series? Well, it's it's me attempting to fill in a void that I've kind of forgotten to fill. See, there's this lovable gremlin called Wario. And he's had many outings on handheld systems. The only problem is, I've, I haven't played them all. So I hope to start rectifying that here soon, starting with Wario Land 2. Wario Land 2, from what I know, is kind of an odd uh, oddity in the bunch. Well, kind of started this trend in the bunch of Wario Land games where, you know, I played Wario Land 1 for you guys that has a life and a failure state in it, so to say. I played Wario Land 4 for you guys that has a life system, well not a life system, but it has a failure state in that you can die in each level. But this, but starting with 2, if I know correctly, or if I am aware correctly, starts the trend that Wario is invincible. And there's no actual failure state. It's strange to think about. Oh. Huh. Maybe I should have cleared the data. How about I clear the data so I am given a fresh, uh, totally fresh save file? How about that one? Alright. So now that we're here with an actual proper clean save, I maybe, I apparently I played this once in the point, at one point in the past. I don't remember playing it, but I did. But it starts off, I think this game starts off shortly after the events of Wario Land 1, where Wario wished for his own castle. At the, uh, basically at the misfortune, or I guess the work he put in to foil Captain Syrup. So this game just picks up right there. Now, um, I will say, because it's happening right now, I am, I won't lie, I am emulating this game. But an issue that happens a lot when I emulate games, or how I record a lot of some games I edit, especially Game Boy games, is that the uh, audio gets a little garbled. So, I can only ask you to forgive me so much for the garbled audio. Well, that's not good. Now, the only thing I, I, I remember very vividly about this is that this game does have a split path system. I'm gonna ignore the split path, I'm gonna ignore the split path in this part of the game. But I'll tell you right now, if you want to get the first split path, uh, do nothing when the stage actually starts. Like, as soon as this fades away, or as, as soon as you press A to go away to this, don't press a single button. And that's how you can advance to the next stage. But, of course, we want to go through this as organically as possible. Oh. Okay. So I'm not going to lie, it controls a little sluggish. Oh, dang it, I lost money. But yeah, this is how the Warrior Land games kind of gave us a... Uh, kind of, It kind of gives you kind of incentive to be a little... To do a little, be a little explorative and do some extra stuff you don't really need to is by incentivizing you with money. Also, I can't, okay, I can't cross, well, I don't know why I'm like hitting, sorry, it's it was happening like when I was hitting up the jump and I come down like, oh, he, that's part of the animation, never mind. I thought, I thought my inputs were messed up. No. So again, as I said before, I've never played this game. I've never played this game, so I've uh, I'm kind of coming into this with a fresh mindset, without any prior knowledge of what's been going on in this game, in this uh, this particular entry in the series at all. Literally, what I'm giving you right now is actually my very first time playing the game. Now, do I know everything? What do I know about this game? Kind of just get this out of the way. A few things I do know is that... A few things I do know is that every level has a unique treasure. Every, every level has a unique treasure of sorts. 
that you can acquire. Yeah, every level has a unique treasure that you can acquire, which takes a little bit of digging. And I may miss that treasure. I may miss that treasure on my first time through each stage. Yeah, I might miss that treasure first time through a stage. So if I do, just we'll handle it as an afterthought, you know, after the fact. But uh, I want to say the uh, those that like to study Smash Brothers, huh? What if we could have gone down through there? Oh well, too late for that now. Um, please don't. Uh, what was I gonna say? But yeah, the uh, Smash aficionados out there who have played, who go through Wario's color palettes, like this one, this this one we're messing with right here is his white color palette. And there will be a lot of times where I'm just going to slam on the floor randomly just to kind of find my bearing. See if I can find where I'm going. Now even though I'm avoiding some of this stuff right now, um, we'll probably ex be exploring the various power-ups that are in the game. That are in this, ga in this game, in this series, as we go along. Aha! Gotta look out for little abnormalities. Listen, I want money. My money, and I need it now. But yeah, like, as you go through, you gotta, like, look for little abnormalities in the, in the game, in the wall. Like, I don't trust anything over here. And I guess I have to trust any, everything over here. Ah, that lovely garble. Don't worry. Hey! I worked hard on that money. Now give it back. Uh... Start? Help? Select panel speed. Oh! Okay, so it costs more money. This costs more money? This costs more money based on how much coinage you spend. So the lot- so you need to find that enemy which is unlocked and then you look through all the shapes and find the panel that matches, which is the first one, it looks like? Okay. And that looks like how you get the treasure. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna- seeing as I have the money. Okay, I have the money, but uh, I'm gonna play normal. Listen, I have a goldfish memory as it is, and I don't trust myself to get these panels. Cloud. I'm looking very intently in the middle. I saw it. So, yeah, I guess that's it. And then with that, you just get the treasure. So that's the 100% criteria of this, is finding the treasure in, in each level. And I will make an attempt to do that as we go along our adventure here. But, uh, if I miss it, if I miss it, like, in the first playthrough, first through stage, because I know this game is linear in how it does everything, so if I miss the treasure the first time through a stage, and it, and there, and I found out a way how to go back and get that treasure, then I will, at a later point, go back and get that treasure. Really? Sir, no. Now, I do know that I'm going to have to be a little bit careful with just bumping enemies around like I tend to willy-nilly at times. But, um, because I know some walls require you to throw an enemy about. Was that something below there? I don't know, it seems like there's floor missing like right here, so I'm kind of slapping the ground. Want to go away? Whatever, I'll just go through the door. And that's why we slam. But yeah, that's... As far as I'm aware, this is kind of like the appeal of the Wario Land games before... Before, like... Or, this is like the appeal of the Wario Land games before it got to be the point of... 
wacky, wacky, stretchy, stretchy man, stretchy in undying man, kind of became a thing is that you explored and you looked for money. Oh. Well, that's how I finished the stage, but I'm gonna go back to the other door quick. I'm gonna go back to the other door and see if there's other goodies in there first. Now, as for, like, episode length and layout kind of stuff... Because I don't, like, you guys generally, like... I'm not saying this as, like, a, you know, kind of pointing out a vocal minority kind of thing. But, like, a lot of times when it comes to... A lot of times when it comes to, uh, episode length, sometimes people wonder and ask... I think, I think unless I feel like an episode's gonna become incredibly long, I'm gonna, unless I feel like an episode's incredibly short, I'm gonna leave it to, uh, one. I'm gonna leave it to one, uh, I'm gonna leave it to one stage per video. I'll leave it generally to one stage per video, and again, that's, that's unless I feel like it's, this is become, like, yeah, brain. Unless I feel like the what we did in an episode is incredibly short. In this first episode, we... Uh... Sure? I've seen this enough where I think I know how this works. Okay, so... Okay, it works like a digital clock, so you can kind of ascertain what things can be based on what panel is flipped. And I don't know what bonus this has, so we're just gonna draw. Okay, so as it states, that basically can be either 7, 8, 9. No, no, it can either be 7, 4, or 1. Uh. I'm gonna say it's 4. Hey, I'm a, I'm a smart man who knows how to read digital clocks. And I have no idea what these do. Oh god, there's more to 100% completion process than I thought. Oh boy. Well, that's just fantastic. Well, let's move on to the next stage. I feel like I'll just keep it going for this episode just because we haven't really done a huge amount today. We haven't done a huge amount today, so I'll just keep it going for today. Can I go through this? Oh. Wario, your jumping physics are awkward at best. Uh, 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 cool. Case in point, co case in point, how I keep going back. Oh boy, this may, I may have made a mistake. Okay. Question, who's throwing furniture through the wall? Also, definitely see this up here. It's going to take me a little while to get used to how Wario jumps while dashing, because... Oh boy. Uh, anybody who's ever watched... Whoever... Anybody who watches... Who's watched any of my other Wario Land projects... Knows that I am... That I'm just tempted to do shoulder bash and then jump. Before anything else. Uh, well, that's uh... There's nothing... Actually, I'm not convinced there's nothing over there. Hold on. I'm actually going to go exploring deeper, because I feel like there is... There might be something else over there. I lied. Also, my object permanence is at an all-time low, it appears. Hello? Ah! We can begin. The fun. Come on, Wario. Burn up already. And burn to a crisp. He'll be fine. Just, uh... Kind of going through... Just kind of... Oh, wait. Is it B to swim? Oh, it's B to swim. I'm pressing A to swim this whole time. Huh. Interesting. Now the screen goes too far that way. I don't buy it for a minute. I guess I have to buy it for, for a minute. But yeah, we're kind of getting into the whole thing about Wario in that he's invincible. Until until stated otherwise. And this is where, like, th this game series kind of took a weird turn. Sorry, my eyes itchy. That's kind of where this game series took a weird turn. In that... Um... Or the weird, the series took a weird turn in that, you know, he's he's invincible, 
but little thing little things can happen here and there to kind of throw him off his game. Throw him off his game, make him not as nimble or agile. War being nimble, agile, by the way. That's a sentence you should never say in your life. Okay. Uh, I messed that up. And, oh, I'm here. Well, I could scum it and save state, but I won't. I will play it, I will play it honestly. Alright, a horrible eyeball monster. And we got... Okay, there he is. Horrible eyeball monster, right there. Now, I'm pretty sure these locks don't stay the same every time you play the game. I'm pretty sure they change every single... I'm pretty sure the... I'm pretty sure they change uh, every time you... What is it? Uh, the locks do change position every single time you do play a game. play the game. That money is tempting, but I don't need it. Okay, I need it, but I don't need it that much. Oh! Wario ha he has that in this game? Okay. I need to stop doing that. My horrible, horrible... I need to just remember that Wario does, is always is pretty much always at full run. Let me get rid of this. And then... Yeah, money. But yeah, Wario is always at is always at f at full run, no matter what. So I don't need to shoulder charge to give myself the running speed, which is what I, uh, which is what I tend to do just by default. Because you know, playing Mario games, you you don't run unless you hold a button. You also don't do anything else unless you hold a button. Oh, oops. Because yeah, oops. I have to reset the room. <laughs> Indestructible enemy unless uh, approached by another enemy. Come here. There we go. Twice as nice. Half the price. Also, Wario... Are you... Is everything okay? You kind of seem to have, like, fail save some money in your in every wall in your house. By the way, we haven't left his... We haven't left Wario's castle yet. This is still him going through his own house. Hello? Okay, why is there just a hole in the floor there? Now I'm curious. So, uh, I guess control things that I... Oh, there's the end, but... Whoa! Um, I guess that was to get that. But yeah, the, uh, controls for a Wario Land game, I should mention all in the first episode. Really simple. It's B to do shoulder charge. Down duck. If you hold up, you'll jump higher than normal, but A is jump otherwise, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and call things here. Everybody, thank you so much for watching this first episode of Wario... Well, actually, no, I can't end it off here, because we have to play the bonus game. Wario gives you a thumb up. Alright. Let's play the game. Spin the wheel. Okay. So that could be two, three, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, too many possibilities. Draw? That tells me it's two. I'm looking to see what else could have that. No. So, answer. It's two. See? It's all about, it's all about knowing how digital clocks work. That's really what this game boils down to in the end. Well... Another piece of the map complete. And I think I'll leave it off here. So everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Wario Land 2. And come back next time when we're going to go to the third stage. I don't know how to divide this up in stages. Or how the stages work. I'll see you folks then. Take care.